A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 4, verses 1 to 20. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. He went back to teaching by the sea. A crowd built up to such a great size that he had to get into an offshore boat using the boat as a pulpit as the people pushed to the water's edge. He taught by using stories, many stories. Listen, what do you make of this? A farmer planted seed. As he scattered the seed, some of it fell on the road, and birds ate it. Some fell in the gravel. It sprouted quickly, but it didn't put down roots. So when the sun came up, it withered just as quickly. Some fell in the weeds. As it came up, it was strangled among the weeds, and nothing came of it. Some fell on good earth and came up with a flourish, producing a harvest exceeding his wildest dreams. Are you listening to this? Really listening? When they were off by themselves, those who were close to him, along with the twelve, asked about the stories. He told them, You've been given insight into God's kingdom. You know how it works. But to those who can't see it yet, Everything comes in stories, creating readiness, nudging them towards a welcome awakening. These are people whose eyes are open but don't see a thing, whose ears are open but don't understand a word, who avoid making an about face and getting forgiven. He continued, Do you see how this story works? All my stories work this way. The farmer plants the word. Some people are like the seed that falls on the hardened soil of the road. No sooner do they hear the word than Satan snatches away what has been planted in them. And some are like the seed that lands in the gravel. When they first hear the word, they respond with great enthusiasm. But there is such shallow soil of character that when the emotions wear off and some difficulty arrives, There's nothing to show for it. The seed cast in the weeds represent the ones who hear the kingdom news but are overwhelmed with worries about all the things they have to do and all the things they want to get. The stress strangles what they heard and nothing comes of it. But the seed planted in good earth represents those who hear the word, embrace it, and produce a harvest beyond their wildest dreams. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 4 verses 1 to 20. The good news is not chained. St. Francis de Sal, bishop and doctor of the church, is the patron saint of authors, journalists, writers, deaf persons and educators. Bishop de Sal believed that holiness was not reserved for those in monasteries or in convents, but for everyone, in every state of life, within every occupation. He, with his teachings against the Protestant fractions in the church of those days, won back as many as 40,000 Catholics who had become Calvinists. In the Gospel today, unlike a diligent and responsible sower who ensures seeds are sown only on fertile and well-prepared soil, the sower of the parable recklessly scatters seeds everywhere, among thorns and along the paths, as well as on rocky ground. This sower is God Himself. What appears foolish in the human perspective has greater wisdom in the divine plan. God does not withhold his word, the seed, from any type of human heart. Be they fertile, full of thorns, hard or rocky. The good news is not withheld from anyone. Nor it is preached based on the recipient's worth. Why does he do so? 
The only conclusion that can be drawn is that God is absolutely generous and loving, willing to risk his seeds on every conceivable type of soil that the human heart may be, hoping that at some point they will soften up and respond to his invitation and take root. It is the risk of love and the wisdom of the cross. Being recipients of such a generous act of God, how do we respond to the seeds that God continues to sow in our hearts?